thank you all for, uh, for coming out today, Mission Beach. Doesn't this boardwalk look beautiful? Uh, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't be happier, especially as we're uh, helping to kick off the Memorial Day weekend. I want to thank just we got a few of the folks who are joining me here today. Of course, our, our council member, Lori Zaff, who represents uh, our area out here in the beach community. James Nagelbord is our director of the city's public works department, which helped oversee this department. We have, uh, of course, uh, Sergeant Strubel from our great uh, lifeguard folks that are doing a phenomenal job. One of the busiest weekends coming up of the year here. And we have some of our community leaders here today. Fred Day, who is chair of our Mission Beach Town Council. We've got a lot of our great town council members out here. Mary Saska, of course, a member of the Mission Beach Precise Planning Board. When you think of Mission Beach, you think of Mary Saska, of course. Yeah. And, um, and so many other uh, great uh, city crew and, and neighbors that are out here today. And I also want to thank um, particularly some of the people that work directly on this project. Bob Katabian, who was for the president of TechCom International, the contractor that did the restoration. Bob, congratulations to your crew. Of course, a number of our city staffers who worked on the project included Jamal Bada, Sarah Chavez, Akram uh, Bassoni, Lewis Shar, Andy Field, and Marnell Gibson. Please give them all a, a round of applause, guys. This was, did a great job. I remember, as uh, Kendall had just uh, pointed out to me uh, a couple of, uh, just a couple of minutes ago, uh, right after I was elected back on the city council, when we came and did some uh, emergency patches on this wall, we had some of the, the crumbling parts of it down there just about the way. We stood, and I stood there with then-Mayor Jerry Sanders, and we said, we're going to fix this seawall. And to be here today with all of you to help celebrate how just remarkable it came out and, and truly how beautiful that it, that it looks, it uh, just gives me a great deal of pride of the, of the community coming together, uh, working together. You know, crews have been working very hard, as I think all of us know, and I, uh, I jog on the boardwalk here at least once a week, sometimes more, depending upon the week, but at least once a week. And it's been great to see the progress. And, you know, this is a part of San Diego's history this boardwalk, it's, it's iconic. Um, and the fact that the crews worked so hard to restore it to its former glory, I think says a lot about us in our, in our city. This boardwalk first opened on May 28th, 1925. So that means the Mission Beach boardwalk is turning 91 years old on Saturday. And I can't think of a better birthday gift than this renovation. And this is a renovation for all San Diegans. No matter where you live, the beach and the boardwalk belong to you. And that's part of why we're here today to help celebrate this. This has been a long time coming, and as I think all of us know, if you've seen not only this portion, but others that you saw you know, over the years, the decades, literally with the sun, the surf, the, the waves, it had been deteriorating. Uh, we vowed to change that. So remember, there was exposed steel bars and broken concrete along the wall and the walkway itself. And when I said we were going to fix it, I made a commitment that we were going to do it the right way. We were going to restore it to its original design and luster. And so this was a project that was really taken up with the utmost care. We were able to restore not only the same look and the feel of this historic boardwalk, but of course made it much, much stronger so it can last another 91 years. One example that I would, I would point out, as you can see, as you can look, take a look at the, at the great lighting down here, a new energy efficient lighting to replicate the original lights that were installed along the boardwalk many, many decades ago. So this is an example of how we're coming together. We're rebuilding our better future by investing in neighborhoods like Mission Beach across the entire city. I want to thank everybody who worked so hard, particularly as we decided that we were going to pursue the funding years ago and work with the state to get this funding. We combined state funding along with city funding course, to get us to the point where construction started last summer. And we're not stopping here. This is part of a longer term effort to improve the entire boardwalk, the entire boardwalk and seawall along Mission Beach, which we will be doing coming up in future years. And this project is in line with nearly a half a billion dollars that I'm investing, that we are investing as a city in neighborhoods across the city. We're fixing more streets than ever before. We're building new fire stations and libraries. And of course, we're constructing new and improved parks. It's part of what building our better future is all about. I'm proud of the work that we're doing. We're doing it collaboratively. I want to especially conclude by saying thank you to our Mission Beach neighbors. Thank you for supporting this project from the very beginning. Thank you for supporting the quality to make sure that it was done right. 
Can't wait to officially cut the ribbon here in a second and have this beautiful boardwalk open for everybody to come see on Memorial Day weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our council member from the district, council member Lori Zaff. Lori? My remarks are a lot shorter. <laughs> I just want to say to, the, to all of the staff members and the crew, congratulations, you met the deadline. Yay, right before Memorial Weekend. You told us you would and you did it. So uh, that's fantastic. Just in time uh, for Memorial Weekend, the kickoff of summer, and hopefully the, the sun's starting to come out, so that's great. This is a great accomplishment. Uh, for Mission Beach. Um, it is so exciting to see the restoration of the seawall, especially right here uh, in the, such a well-visited area. Uh, it complements the, the revitalization right here of Belmont Park, and now uh, visitors from out of town all across San Diego can come here, and it is becoming really the jewel that it was, and it is, and it's uh, its future is great as we just continue to revitalize this part of Mission Beach. It's such, uh, so exciting. This is the gateway to San Diego for so many people. They come right here and they go, wow, isn't this beautiful? And now, uh, like our mayor said, we don't have to be patching holes in the wall. And to one of our uh, big Mission Beach rich, one of our iconic Mission Beach uh, activists and it, such a long time uh, a community member who's in a wheelchair was telling me just a few moments ago he is thrilled with the ADA access that they can go down on the sand so um, what a great accomplishment too that now we can accommodate uh, those in wheelchairs and have ADA access so um, I'm, I'm so thrilled that that's there for you now too Rich thank you um, I can't wait uh, to find the funding and we're going to claw our way to that funding to get the rest of the money so that we can do the seawall uh, the entire length and uh, really looking forward to that. Thank you. You can tell I'm just like really giddy and excited about all this. So um, thank you very much. Thank you, Who's Lord. next? Thank you, thank, you, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Next up, as I said, it was, it's been a, a very, uh, it was a team effort all the way along and our director of public works, James Nagelvoort. James, you and your team did a remarkable job. Come on up and say a few words, please. Good morning, everybody, and thank you for coming. What a wonderful project. It looks fantastic. Uh, my department and the city as a whole, we, as the mayor mentioned, we're fixing a lot of things, roads, sewer, water, other parks and that. All projects we do are special, but this project, it just seems to be a little more special. The historical significance is kind of fun and exciting in that, and I have to say, it looks fantastic. Um, I'm going to walk through and thank a lot of people, some that the mayor's already mentioned, but I think for a project like this, I think get mentioned twice, what the hell. First off, <laughs> I got to thank my boss. Um, he has been phenomenal. The support that we get to do projects, the amount of money, the effort to really make improvements to the city of San Diego, I think in my 20 plus years is unprecedented. I am incredibly busy. Uh, I do need a vacation, but I am thrilled with the work in it. So thank you, sir. And, uh, um, I, I also want to thank uh, Councilwoman uh, Zaff. Lori, your support over the years for us, the work that we do, the streamlining support, the help that we get through City Council, and the funding. And if you don't know, uh, the budget going into next year for the Capital Improvement Program budget is the largest one I've seen in my career. More money's coming on in, a lot more work like that. Um, of course, a project like this, all projects, it takes a village of people to work together to bring it forward in that. So I'm gonna run through some names real fast in that. The project management team, I wanna thank the Deputy City Engineer, Jamal Bada. Fantastic work, Jamal. Uh, Will Mer Meredith on his team, from our construction management team, Deputy City Engineer Sarah Chavez, who's back there someplace. Oh, there, Sarah, and then um, Supervising Engineer Mike Arnold, uh, uh, our resident engineer who is in sight every day with the contractor, um, uh, Heap Hoing, uh, our surveyor, Owen Pilgrim, and I haven't done if I've seen Owen here today, uh, supporting departments. This could not be done without the support of the planning department. A very special lady named Kelly uh, Stanko, helped us through all the historical permitting issues and stuff like that. Really appreciate that. Want to thank the communications department, the lifeguards, the transportation and stormwater department, and park and recreations. These are the departments that actually help cobble the funds together to pay for this and make it possible. And then our, our consultants, they're back in there, hiding back there someplace. Michael Baker consultants, and then IS architecture, and then the contractor, and I have to say, 
this is some of the best work I've seen in my career. So the, to the contractor, Techcom International, fantastic work, sir, and your crews in that, did outstanding. Um, by the way, he, I don't recognize him. He was never dressed that good in the job site, so <laughs> looks fantastic. And to all of you in the Mission Beach community and the, and, and the community uh, at large in that, I know that it's tough to live through a construction uh, job site. It's difficult to survive eight months. We want to thank you for putting up with us, for tolerating us, and I hope you really, really like the product, our, our, our final work. To staff, outstanding job, guys. Thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. Like I said before, this was a project that really helped done in coordination from the very beginning from our community that knew how important it was and how important it was to restore, as I said, its original luster. Happy to introduce Fred Day, who's chair of our Mission Beach Town Council. Fred, thank you, my friend. Welcome to our neighborhood, everybody. Uh, I want to thank the mayor and council member Zapp for whatever role they played in making this happen. They've taken an eyesore, an embarrassment in our neighborhood, and they turned it into a thing of beauty and a great enhancement, and I want to thank them for that. And I also want to thank the crew, the construction people, the engineers, all the city staff for all the hard work they did. We watched them do this over an eight-month period. It was inconvenient at times, but they did a fantastic job. And I want to say that uh, the, the community feels the same way. Uh, and in conclusion, I like the words the mayor used. We're not stopping here. Uh, the question now is when? And uh, let's go onward and upward. Let's finish the job. Very good, Fred. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> you always got to push. I love it, Fred. I love it. We're going to do more. That's what it's all about. Well said. Well done. Uh, and lastly, of course, uh, a, uh, when you uh, think about Mission Beach and so many uh, so many great neighbors and families, a name that's been synonymous with, uh, with Mission Beach for, for decades. One of the just great community leaders, Mary Soska. Mary, come on up. Hi there. Um, I just want to thank Mr. Mayor and, and Council Lady Zaff and, and all of the people that work on this project. It's um, wonderful to, to be a part of this community. We have a lot of good neighbors that are here right now, business owners and, and residents who want to come out and help celebrate because this is us. This is Mission Beach and we're very proud of it. This is our very unique community and we have a lot to offer. Well, and this is done right in time for Memorial Weekend. We're pushing off, we're getting ready, kicking off our summer business. And I want you to know that we're very happy to invite people to come down Take a stroll, ride your bike, and catch one amazing sunset while you're down here because we have it all to offer. And I just want to let you know that we're very proud of our community, very proud of our neighbors, and we're going to welcome everyone for the holiday. Thank you all. Thank you, Mary. Well said. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Okay, I'd invite everybody to uh, join me. Let's officially open uh, this beautiful boardwalk. Let's do it.